So you touched upon the wide receiver position and you mentioned Wondell Robinson, uh, a lot of hype surrounding his uh, emergence as well with J.D. Spielman coming back. Uh, of course, Stanley Morgan is gone after a 70 catch season. So in terms of weapons, as you take it through the wide receiver and running back positions with Divine Azigbo gone, but Maurice Washington back and others, uh, your thoughts about the skill positions and the complementary pieces in the offense. Sure, sure. And we'll start at that wide receiver spot. And, uh, you know, Wondell Robinson, definitely that gem in last year's recruiting class. And uh, I had asked Ryan Held, the running backs coach, just uh, last month when we were down in Florida, you know, I had asked him, you know, how much they were going to use Wondell in the backfield. And his answer was, you know, they'll use him a little bit, but he's going to be pretty much a true wide receiver. So when you line him up on one side and J.D. Spielman on the other side, you've got all kinds of speed. And, uh, you know, it's going to be tough for corners to cover them in the Big Ten Conference. And, uh, you know, behind them, hopefully you get to see some more of Mike Williams, who was a junior college transfer coming in last year. Um, he is poised to take over Stanley Morgan's spot. Um, and is this maybe the year for a Javon McQuitty, who's been around the program now for – uh, he's a redshirt sophomore. Um, he's a bigger body guy that, you know, we would like to see out there. Um, J Jeron Woodyard's another guy that needs to step up to. And uh, then you got some new guys coming in. Um, one guy that had a really, really good uh, spring was uh, Andre Hunt. Um, the coaches were really raving about him. And then you got a speedster coming in, a true freshman from Oklahoma in Jamie Nance. So, you know, we're going to see a lot more of what's going to happen here when fall camp starts as they uh, kind of weed out that uh, wide receiver position. And Williams then, was the one guy out of the, the, the bunch that you mentioned there that uh, got on the field uh, for yeah. some fairly significant time with 12 catches last year, about 10 yards per catch. Uh, McQuitty, we hear tons of good things about his skill set and what he could possibly uh, bring to the table if he's got his head on straight and he's ready to go. And I, I almost forgot to mention Cade Warner. Um, definitely the best blocking wide receiver in that core, uh, son of uh, Kurt Warner, NFL Hall of Famer. Of note right there. So he's been taught football and how to play when the ball's not in, in his hands, and uh, that's something that's uh, undervalued by many here in the media and analysts and so forth. But uh, if you've got those blocking wide receivers, the coaches love that. And uh, Warner also caught 17 passes last year. Uh, on, I may add, and it was poised to uh, actually go on scholarship probably this year.